Are you tired of juggling multiple software and tabs to manage your documents? What if you could streamline your entire PDF workflow right within your Chrome browser? In this video, we're gonna show you how Lumen makes PDF editing, merging, and signing easy all within Chrome, and how it compares to some other applications that you would think would work well for PDF tools that have some great pros, but also some cons when comparing them to Lumen PDF. Thank you to Lumen for sponsoring this video. First, we'll cover how using a Chrome extension for PDF editing can streamline your document management and make your work more efficient. The seamless integration of PDF tools right within the Chrome browser saves time and effort, eliminating the need to juggle between multiple tabs and different tools. So firstly, what you would do is you would go to the Chrome web store and search for Lumen. So I'm gonna search Lumen PDF editor. You'll see right here, Lumen PDF, edit, sign, merge, share, and print PDF. So I can press get the extension here. Small note, I am on Edge, but it's a Chromium-based browser, so same difference. Once installed, open any PDF file in your browser. So say, for example, I were to go to one of my favorite ones, which is Birch and Russell in Praise of Idleness PDF. I'm doing some research here, and you'll notice that there is some really great features here, which are, you know, Pretty cool that I'm getting some directly in the browser immediate availability of Lumen tools. The toolbar can be used to access editing features. So for example, I can click edit and then it will send me inside of Lumen right here where you can fill forms, add text, sign documents, and more. So as you can see within the account, I can do a lot of different things. So I can actually select the text, highlight it, change styles, to do uh, different options like that. And if I click edit PDF, it's pretty insane what I can do here. I can actually have it analyze the text here and edit the PDF itself. So for example, it says, I was brought up on the saying, Satan finds some mischief for the idle hands to do. Being a highly virtuous child, see right here, I could edit this text. So being a highly curious child. And I know that was just a small change, but I wanted to show that it was possible to do this. Um, in the different blocks of text here. It essentially analyzes the text and allows you to make changes to it. And when I press done, you'll see that it goes from being highly virtuous to highly curious. And I can add hyperlinks and a myriad of other options here, including uh, hyperlinking to other page numbers, which is pretty cool. If I click on this, when viewing it, it would then send me to that page that I'm hyperlinking to. You can do a lot more on this. You can do things like text editing, form filling, and signing. After editing, you can save the document directly like I showed or share it via a copy link button. So if I press uh, this share option, I can then share it and I could change the access to like restrict it or anybody with the link. So even if I were to do this in an incognito browser, I can see the shared option that's referring to I can navigate to that page three like it showed. Very, very cool. And there are a lot of other great features here like redacting if you're on the business plan. Uh, other page tools where you can go here and adjust how you interact with the different pages here and much, much more. A lot of people really enjoy the fill and sign toolbar section over here that allows you to, if you're on a business plan, create a form, but also cross stamp something, take something off, dot stamp. You can see I can just like drop these onto the page. And if there was an example contract, which let me pull up. So right here, you'll see I can uh, either click on secure sign or edit it. So I could press secure sign here and it'll be like, who needs to sign? Uh, me, so just me. I'm gonna do next. And you'll notice it brings me through this very good process where it figures out all the fields that are needed like dates and text and check boxes that I can check off. Really cool stuff. So say, for example, I just need to confirm the different field types here that they are correct, which I do see them as being correct. Then I press next and you'll see it actually figured out that I didn't have a signature section. So let's try to see if I can press next and then add fields. So let's add a signature field and it'd be right, right here as well as right here. So if I apply these fields, then we got some sign sections. And then it brings me back into a Lumen PDF experience where I can go through and actually fill out all this information. Do you know any other tools that can do this? There are some, but I very much enjoyed that experience right there. 
However, I do want to compare Lumen to other PDF tools in order to showcase which ones have similar capabilities and different ones and kind of like where Lumen stands out due to its ease of use and integration with Chrome. Let's see how it measures up against other popular tools like PDF Filler and Adobe Acrobat. Adobe Acrobat is an established tool with a comprehensive suite of PDF editing tools. As you can see on their website, there's over 25 plus PDF and e-signature tools that are a part of Adobe Acrobat and users can enjoy a pretty unique experience when using it. Some benefits are that you can get this as a part of a Adobe Creative Cloud subscription and that it has things like editing PDFs, filling and signing, compressing, and a couple other similar tool features that you saw inside of Lumen PDF. However, when it comes to the tool inside of Chrome, users report issues with removal from Chrome. There's constant permission pop-ups and automatic installations. Adobe is facing some legal issues for some cancellation practices that they've uh, had before. These, they would be considered maybe predatory. And I don't like working with those type of companies usually, so I'm gonna just let you know that so that if you do work with a tool like Acrobat that you know this going in. In comparison, Lumen is designed for Chrome users, providing that seamless integration. I mean, not having to go to Adobe Acrobat on my computer in its specific application and just being able to open up a PDF inside of my browser is a much better experience. Lumen has fast editing and loading speeds and is an essential product when it comes to all of these great features you saw. And the free plan is available with a reasonably priced paid plan as well. Next, let's talk about PDF Filler. So PDF Filler is an extensive list of PDF editing tools, allowing for virtually any necessary modification. As you can see on their website, you can drag and drop any document here to upload and then edit it. Now that is a different experience than just being able to open it from a downloaded PDF or URL for sure. So let's drag and upload this and see the tools that you have. First of all, I'd like to call out the UI is a little less modern and in my opinion, more clunky. And it requires an account for most actions beyond reading. And there are prompts for sign up and payment after you like start editing the PDF itself. Some features here that you can edit text, highlight text, and add a signature, as well as all of these different options you see on the top. And there is a replace functionality inside of it as well. If you wanna merge multiple PDFs by uploading more, you can absolutely do that. And you have the ability to delete out different pages and then save it when you're done to whatever file format you see uh, right here. So you can send it or save the document in a myriad of different options. So if I save it, you'll notice, huzzah, <laughs> time to create your premium account, which to be fair, I get it. That's the way that people operate. But would have been nice to have been told this like prior. Like I, I prefer the other direction of having no access to the tool, making you sign up and then interacting with it rather than it prompting you to do it after because it's a little disingenuous, but I'm not saying they'd be doing that. I just, that's how I feel when I'm doing it. And it's a great option, but for me, I think Lumen is gonna be what I'll go with for editing my PDF tools. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to download the Lumen Chrome extension from the web store and make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave a comment if you have any questions or need further assistance. But that being said, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.